it's all professional ish I can't really do professional this is as close as I can get so I'm just copying other youtubers yeah I don't know but I do know it is time for September's book haul okay first book I got is Pretty Little Liars by Sarah Shepard right yes yes I've seen the well, two or three episodes of the TV show, and I figured, hey, why not check out the book? It's kind of small. So, I picked it up. It was also cheap, too. But it was the first book that I got in September. And I'm kind of excited to read it, just to see how it's going to be. The next book I got, I have no idea what it's about, really. It is Where Things Come Back by, who is this? John... By John Corey Whaley. Wait, is it Whaley? I'm horrible names. If you watch any of my other videos, you know that already. But I know nothing about this, and it was also cheap, like Pretty Little Liars. I like bargain books. I'm sorry, but I went and got this one because I saw Jesse the Reader really enjoyed it, and he recommended it. So we'll see how it is. I just realized I'm doing a lot of themes and suggestions, I guess. Because a lot of the books that I got this past September was mainly because I did this, you need to do this. So in September I'm a follower, I guess. Art was a follower. Yeah. The next book I got was Ready Player One. Ooh, I don't even know who wrote it. Ernest Klein. Yes, I've heard much and much about this. I saw this on the Little Book Owl channel. Now, she was doing the whole like review with three other people and stuff. And I was like, I really want to read this. And then... Yes, I've heard that it's been great, and it's, it's about gaming. I like gaming. I'm not too much of a gamer, but I will surely play the heck out of some, like, Smash Brothers, which comes out in a few days. Yeah. Or Pokemon, or Zelda. I mean, all the big franchises. Yeah, I'll play those. But, this one sounds fun. I actually have read the back and started a little bit. My reading topics this month has been kind of up and down been doing weird things but also the audiobook just done by Will Whedon and I was like I like Will Whedon but I want to read the book first before I do that and I can watch much of the book owl little book owl review kind of thing or whatever you call it because I haven't read it yet oh well look forward to this one Baiting Emily by Rachel Gold I'm writing a book, You can I'll put another video completely about it, and, well, I'm writing many books, but the current book that I'm working on now, uh, I'll have a whole video on it, because it's published on Wattpad, which is a horrible name, and I'll get to that in another video, but the next few books I got for research, and just for general principles and thoughts, and just ideas, kind of not copying them, but just thoughts in general. Let's keep it at that. But Being Emily by Rachel Gold. I'm trying to find certain books in a niche, quote unquote, and the only way I can find them is having to order them. And when you order them, it's good for me. But a lot of the times, I have people question what I read. And that's both entertaining and kind of scary at times. And that'll be one of the next few books that I'll talk about. But I'm looking forward to this one. The next book is a, another recommendation kind of thing that I saw on Katie Tastic's video channel. Or YouTube channel, not video channel. Babe and Boy... Blah, 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 blah. Babe and Boyland by, who is it? I don't know, Jody Garum? So, I'm all for just, like, roles being switched. Quote-unquote roles, I guess. But this one sounds like it's fun. And then anything, I love things with like, I guess cross-dressing. I love the birdcage, love too long. Here we are for take two. Seems I just finished the video, but my camera cut out less than halfway through. I really hate you right now, camera. Don't break on me. But anyway, back to the book haul. The next book I got was Babe and Boyland by Jody Gurm. 
Ger Ger German. Sorry. But I really like it when things are go against the norm and a girl dressing up as a guy and going to get, what is it, an a, a article? Yeah, going to a private all boys boarding school in town. So I think this will be fun and I'm curious to see, honestly, how, well, the writer, but how young girls see guys. That's always fun. Just that different thought process. Obviously, I'm a dude. I know how dudes think about girls when they were in high school. I'm wondering about the opposite. Now, here's the book that's kind of weird when you get it in the mail. And since I'm showing what books I got this month, I'm showing this one. How to Change Your Sex by, what is it, Lanny? Lanny Rose. This was good, informative, easy read, and just, I recommend it. It's great. I'm working on a book, which I may have already mentioned. I'm working on a book that deals with certain things and something to this extent. This is a really good book, just to broaden your mind, to show you other, I guess, types of people, would be a nice way of saying it. Other people out there and their train of thought, really. We all need to learn. This is like a me on a platform kind of thing today. I don't know why. But look at the... Read this book. It's nice and will tell you more about the trans community. It's a really good book. I read this in probably two or three days. It was, as I said, an easy read, very informative, and just showed me a lot of things I didn't even think about. So, I recommend this book. It's really nice. Now, this is where I'll probably get a lot of flack. Next book I got was Paper Towns by John Green. I like John Green so far. I've only read two of his books. But, because of the success of Fault in Our Stars, yes, that's how I really found out about him. And a few videos ago, I made my reaction to it, getting the book, and then seeing the movie in the day or next day. Something like that. It happened in June, so it's been a few months. I like that book. I read Looking for Alaska last month, or this month. I can't remember even which one, because my mind is everywhere. But I really enjoyed those books. So, I saw this one, and two people in my writing group have mentioned this book and how I need to read it. Two people in one person. It had been recommended in person by this, and also people online for this book and also there's a movie so just everything that I like about books as far as recommendations go cool and then I actually read what the book's about on the back and it looks good too so we'll see how it is next book I got was Lies My Girlfriend Told Me by Julianne Peters I like this author a lot I found her about four years ago five years ago something like that a little while ago and I found her through Luna the, her book Luna and then went out and bought every book that she had after that, or prior to that. So Luna was like 05 or 04, and I bought it, what, 2010, 2011, something like that. And I bought all her books that she had published, and then I've been following her ever since. I really enjoy her writing. Uh, just, And I'm looking forward to this one, too. The next book I got... It's a writing book, because NaNoWriMo is in two months, well, almost a month now, or just one month, and I need to step up my game so I can do it. I will have a video on that, saying last year I didn't win NaNoWriMo. I'm going to try this year, and I'll get to that in another video. But I have Still Writing, The Perils and Pleasures of Creative Life by Danny Sharpie? Sharpiro? Not really sure. Sha Shapiro. Shapiro. Uh, sorry if I'm pronouncing the name wrong. But I'm hoping this will like give me more motivation, which this year that's been my struggle with writing. I've either been reading, writing a few words, watching TV, or playing guitar. 
it goes in phases. And I don't understand why, so I need to set up a routine. And that'll be another video. This video is pretty much just a video about all the videos that I'm probably going to do. Plus being a book haul. But I'm hoping this one will set me straight on a few things. Another writing book that I hope sets me straight on a few things. It's a horrible way to say that, I think. But then again, I don't know. It's Plot Whisperer by Martha Alderson. I'm, well, I'm in a writing group now, and I was in a small kind of uh, email writing group a few years ago, and that one, the first one that I was in, said I had issues with the plot. I was just writing scenes, and there was no real plot. I think I've gotten better at that, but I still want to tighten it up and make it better, or make myself better in a creative way. So, I got this, and hopefully it will help me on that. My last writing book that I got, I kind of don't have. I left it at my mom's house. So here's a picture of me with the book. It's How to Write Science Fiction and Fantasy by Orson Scott Card. Say what you will about the person's beliefs. Everybody has their own beliefs. But he is a really good writer. I'm hoping that book will help me with my next project, which is in November for NaNoWriMo, I'm doing a fantasy, and I'm hoping that will give me some ideas, or at least help me hone in on stuff on that, or hone in on my approach to it. So close! So close! I was almost done, and I ran out of film on that one too. I feel like I'm back in the old days with this sound, film. I just need to hurry up and make videos that don't take as long and shut up and do my videos. Why am I talking still? The last book that I got for the month of September was Miss Pedigree's Home House. Home for Peculiar Children. <laughs> See, I can't even think anymore now because of that. By uh, Ransom Riggs. Yeah, I'm probably missed... I probably missed the wave that the, came with this because now what the second book, maybe third, is out in it. But it was also one of the reasons why I picked it up because it was cheap at Sam's Club. And I keep seeing so much reviews and like just great valor over it, just greatness, wonderfulness, awesomeness. I've just been seeing so many good reviews for this book. And a little bit more about me, since this video is all about me, it seems like. I wonder why. Hmm. Maybe my channel? Mm. A little bit more about me. I like horror movies and anything in that kind of genre, which Stephen King is somewhere around here. If not, it's in the shed, which you've seen before. Maybe. So, I like odd peculiar wink wink things I don't know what I just did there but I'm looking forward to reading this book I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it and that is it for this book haul after three four times with my camera going yeah I finally finished it I hope now watch me turn around and it's like not recording anymore find that out in a second but if this is the end good thank you for joining me if you have any thoughts about it like any of the books that I've reviewed tell me in the bottom tell me if you liked them don't spoil anything please because we live in that wonderful society now where everybody likes to spoil things or freak out about getting spoiled there's no middle ground in that so I'm the middle ground if you spoil it it'll suck but I'll move on with my life that's just the way things go. Why am I doing it like this? I don't know. Well, if I was a girl, I'd have something to show off, but sorry, can't help you there. <laughs> I'm kind of limited on that one. Especially in the South. Thank you for watching, and if you like it, please thumbs up, uh, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. You can find me. Twitter, Goodreads, YouTube, obviously. Uh, Wattpad, which I'll talk about that later in another video.
thank you for watching. And don't have too much fun doing what you're doing. Watching more YouTube videos, don't have too much fun with that. John A.